Tommy Morrison, after a crushing defeat to Michael Bent and the loss of the WBO title, became addicted to alcohol and drugs. He continued to win fights, but the battle with Ross Pirity, where he was knocked down twice, finally convinced everyone that the Great White Hope was not the same as before. Morrison's physical form was far from perfect, and the upcoming fight with Donovan Ruddock was to be decisive for both. The loser would find himself at the bottom of the Royal Division ratings, and the winner would have one more chance. Donovan was in even worse shape than Tommy. He found that he was scheduled to fight Morrison only a couple of weeks before it took place, and did not have time to prepare appropriately. After having two fights with Mike Tyson and losing in a bout with Lennox Lewis, Ruddock had stepped away from the ring for a year and a half. Considering all of the above, it is understandable that not much was expected from this fight. However, Morrison and Ruddock surprised everyone with an unforgettable show that is still considered one of the best heavyweight fights of all time. On June 10, 1995, in Kansas City, in a crowded arena, two once top heavyweight fighters met. They immediately began fighting. In the very first round, Ruddock knocked Tommy down with a right uppercut. In the second round, Morrison returned the favor with a right uppercut from below that shook Donovan, and the referee counted a knockdown. The fight was gaining momentum, and by the sixth round, the tension was building. Which of the two veterans had enough strength to prevail? The sixth round. Ruddock is working as the aggressor. His sharp jabs keeps Tommy on his toes. Donovan needs to perform his signature left hook or uppercut, and his opponent knew this. Ruddock began using a dangerous right-handed blow. Usually that punch was followed by a strong left strike from below to the chin. A punch that has defeated many of Razor's opponents. Tommy was careful and tried to prevent Donovan from using that attack. In the middle of the round, Donovan threw a pair of lower left hooks. Morrison was shocked and he retreated. Like a bulldog, Donovan pounced, trying to finish him off. Tommy took advantage of an opening turning the body to the left and throwing his best blow, a left hook. Ruddock collapsed, but managed to get back up and continue fighting. Donovan tried to hold on to Tommy's arms, but Tommy freed himself and began to beat his opponent against the ropes. The referee counted a standing knockdown. A third full knockdown would have meant a stoppage of the fight due to the three knockdown rule and Morrison understood this. He was tired, but with his last strength, he pushed for the win and succeeded. He would like to see the standing eight not in effect here. The three knockdown rules not in effect because of flash knockdown. Morrison is nailing him though, but running. Morrison landed several unanswered blows and the referee intervened, stopping the fight 10 seconds before the end of round six. Tommy Morrison won by technical knockout over Donovan Ruddock. 
In the next fight, Tommy would lose to Lennox Lewis. Ruddock took another break before he continued boxing. He never returned to the high-level fights, but his fight with Morrison and the furious sixth round were remembered for a long time. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, leave us a comment, and hit the bell to turn on notifications so you won't miss our next videos. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so right now. See you next time in the ring.